Hey guys, I'll go here and in this first episode of our new series Wonderlust, we will take you on our honeymoon tour on Christmas 2019 and the destination is Mauritius. We started on the evening of December 23rd. The Christmas to New Year holidays is one of the highest peak season for any vacation. The prices get very high for both flights and hotels as availability goes low, so we finished bookings by October 1st. The rough overall cost for couple return tickets was around 1,20,000 rupees. Direct flights to Mauritius are not available from all cities in India, and not all of them operate every day. Our journey would start from Kolkata, where our wedding happened. and would end in delhi where i leave for my job in adobe inc since there is no flight from kolkata our flight to mauritius was with a layover at bengaluru on 23 december we spent almost the entire night at bengaluru airport and boarded the air mauritius flight at dawn around 5 am by the way air mauritius and air india are actually the same Air India flights are operated by Air Mauritius and flight number is different from ticket which sometimes create confusion. Also, we almost lost our luggage due to Air India employees in Kolkata airport misleading us by telling our luggage will be auto transferred to the layover flight, which wasn't the case. We had to manually get the luggage back with a lot of hassle at 3 am in the morning and just in time for check-in. But all swell that ends well. Although this was just the beginning. Finally, we reached Mauritius Airport next day on December 24th at 12 p.m. We took a cab from airport with a fare of 2000 Mauritian rupee, equivalent of around 4000 Indian rupees. Since the exchange rate between the two currencies was almost 2 to 1. A quick Google search will show that one of the best sites of Mauritius to stay on honeymoon or a family tour is the northwest coast. This site has many popular beaches like True Ox beaches, Peri Bear, Flick and Flack and Grand Bay. It took almost 1 and 1/2 hour to cover the distance of 65 km to west coast to our resort. We had booked a resort named Le Palmes to Resort and Spa which is at a walking distance from True Ox beaches. The resort has two swimming pools, a lot of palm trees and a spa which we would explore later. And this is our room. After resting for an hour or so, it was time to head to the nearest beach, the True Ox Beaches public beach. Pardon my French if I am not pronouncing the name right. It is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful beaches in Mauritius. True Ox Beaches is a small town with the beach of the same name. And we have reached the beach with a 5 minute walking from Mauritius. indeed beautiful with crystal clear waters of the indian ocean and white sands there was a lot of crowd on the beach and the sunset time was near
After spending around half an hour at the beach, we returned after sunset with the promise of returning tomorrow. At night, we had the Christmas Eve gala dinner in our resort. The cost was included in our resort booking and is generally a compulsory add-on at this time of year. Apart from the elaborate Christmas decorations and themes, the restaurant had a lot of variety for cuisines and desserts as well. The next day, the 25th, started with a coffee from my wifey. The day was overcast and rainy when we went out. It was the morning of Christmas, so no sightseeing tour was conducted today. We went to the nearby popular village of Grand Bay in the North Mauritius where there are very popular public beaches like Peri Bear. Sunanda does love to show off her yoga flexibility and this beach was no exception. Finally, in the evening, we returned to True Oak Beach's public beach once more. We spent a longer time this evening and there was an overall festive spirit all around.
Here is our goodbye for now. Stay tuned for part 2 of this Mauritius vlog which is coming very soon. And once again, do not forget to subscribe and hit a like. Thank you, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.